you are righteous, you are mighty. Bless them in your holy name. Bless them in your righteous name. Give you all the glory. Thank you for all the honor and the glory and the adoration, Father. We are using the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are holy. Lord, you are righteous. Who will I speak and this do? In our lives, come and take your place in our lives. Come and take your place. I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. All to Jesus, all to him, all to my blessed Savior, I surrender. Oh, Lord, we surrender, we surrender, Lord. We surrender. Oh, hallelujah. We Let's begin to open our mouths and tell the Lord we surrender. Go back before the Lord and recommit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if the Bible says that if we say we have not seen, then we are a liar. That we do not know God. And so let us go before Him and begin to surrender. Begin to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus Begin to go, go to the cross, go back to the cross, kneel down on the cross, go down on the cross. And surrender your life again. Begin to surrender again. Begin to surrender again. Lord, we surrender all. Lord Jesus, we surrender all to you, my God. Lord, we fly unto you. Oh God, we give you all the praise. Lord, my God, we worship you. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Let your blood, God Almighty, wash us. We surrender all, Father Lord, all our filthiness. All our righteousness is like filthy rags before you. Lord, my God. Oh Lord, we fly unto you. Father, Lord, God Almighty, we worship you. We give you all the praise in me. King of glory. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Sister Charity. Over Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All oh, welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us try to put uh, make our background to be bright. If you don't want to put on your video, just make it bright by putting a, a bright picture, please, so that it will be okay for those that are watching from the outside. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let us also avoid going in and coming in. Going in and coming is causes distraction. Some people will just be going and coming, going and coming. I don't know. I don't know why. 
Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you our honor. We give you our We give you our honor. We give you our honor. Jayama, <laughs> Father Lord, we worship you, we give you all the praise, we give you all the thanks. Let us open our mouth and begin to thank the King of Kings, the Lord of the Son coming King, the Holy One of the King. Let us begin to worship the highest throne on the earth. Let us begin to worship you, let us begin to thank you, Lord. You are worthy of all praise. Together, once more, let us begin to thank you for his protection. Let us begin to thank you for his love. Lord God Almighty, I worship you, I give you all the the praise that give you all the thanks. Uh. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for keeping us alive. I uh. thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your protection. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your love. I uh. thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the good weather. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the good health. Day for my body, we have to be mouth. It is not a thank you for your goodness. It is not a you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We are not so bad. Thank you for sending my brethren. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I thank you for the son of my heart. I thank you. I told you there was no accident. May your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. We are still going to thank God. You will open your mouth to thank God. Uh -huh. You you get up this morning. You had your shower. You went to work. You came back. You went to school. You came back. Uh, a lot of people went out. They were not able to come back. Uh, a lot of people drove today. They had an accident. Uh, it's not because you were careful driving. Uh, but it's because God protected you. You have to open your mouth and begin to thank God. Uh, there is nothing else you can give to him apart from thanks. Uh, open your mouth and begin to thank him from the bottom of your heart. Uh, Lord God Almighty, I thank you for your your protection over my life. Uh, I thank you for your protection over my children. Uh, I thank you for your protection over my children. Uh, I thank you for your Every trap that the enemy sets for us might not allow us to fall in their feet. Your presence is already entered. I thank you for 
There is not nobody lost their life. I thank you that nobody is going in sin. Thank you, I 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 thank you, Lord God of my name. Thank you, Lord. Just name, Lord my God. We say thank you because you are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, everlasting Father. We are afraid. Thank you. Amen. Let us open Amen. our mouths and begin to ask God for forgiveness uh, in any way we have sinned against him, uh, in our words, in our thoughts, in our omissions, uh, in any way you know you have sinned against God, uh, the physical sin, the spiritual sin, uh, the sin you sin that nobody was looking at you, even the one you did, you do not even know that it's sin. Uh, ask for mercy on behalf of your husband, your wife, or your siblings, or your parents, or on behalf of your children. Uh, ask God for mercy. Ask Him to wash away our sins. Uh, ask Him to wash away your iniquity. Ask Him to wash away that sin that is capable of preventing you of receiving the blessings tonight. Uh, ask Him to wash you away, wash the sins away, the sin that will prevent you from making rapture, that sin that will prevent your name from entering the book of the the book, Lamb's Book of Life. Uh, open your mouth and begin to ask God for mercy. Lord God of mercy, I ask you for mercy. In any way I've seen against you, Lord Jesus, uh, in my way, in my thoughts, in my own thoughts, in my own I ask for mercy on behalf of my parents. I ask for mercy on behalf of my brethren in authority and movement. I ask for mercy on behalf of my brethren in Christ. I ask for mercy, Lord God of mercy. Have mercy. We share our sin, my sin, my sin. Every sin of my life, Lord God of mercy, have mercy. What my sin, the sin that is capable of making me. That's it. That is the boy holding me. It's not going to see from you tonight. That's it. I am the one that takes me the last day. Come on, my dear. My government. Write the book of death. Write our name in the book of life. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, upon their children, upon their youth, we ask for mercy in the Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Let us invite the Holy Spirit to come and take over tonight. Uh, invite the Holy Spirit to come and take over your body, your spirit. Uh, invite the Holy Spirit to come and take over the man of God tonight. Uh, invite the Holy Spirit to come and teach us how to pray, to give us all chance to pray tonight. Invite the Holy Spirit to come and be the chairperson of this all night tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I tell the Holy Spirit to teach you. To pray, let the Holy Spirit to help us to pray, not to pray that will not pray. Our Holy Spirit of the living God, we invite you tonight. Uh, I invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and take over my spirit. My spirit, my spirit. I invite you to come and take over this all night. I invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and teach us how to pray tonight. We will not pray tonight. Holy Spirit, come and take over. Come and take over tonight. Uh, come and give us more wisdom, more understanding. Uh, in the mighty the prayer that we will pray that the King of Glory will accept that Holy Spirit. With a fervent and effective prayer of the righteous man. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. I plead, I plead.
hear the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus. Let us open our mouth and begin to plead the blood of Jesus. You begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your body, your soul, your spirit. You begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. God We begin to take authority right now, wherever they have gathered, wherever they have gathered in the four junction, wherever in our territory, in the sky, in the air, in the moon, in the sun, in the sky, wherever they have gathered tonight, every country that is not of the Lord, that you to open your mouth and you begin to scatter them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible said that whatsoever will bind you on earth is a bind in heaven. And the one will lose your head, it's losing heaven. You begin to take authority right now. The Lord God Almighty say He has given us the power to step upon scorpions, upon serpents, and they will by no means hurt us. You begin to open your mouth right now, begin to open every of their devices, every of their mirror, every of their enchantment. Right now, you begin to take authority as a child of God. I come against every power wherever they are watching us right now from, wherever they are programming from, every enchantment. That there is no enchantment against against Rem tonight. Uh, no enchantment against my brother. There is no enchantment against the man of God. Uh, there is no enchantment against against my children, against my siblings, against my friends and family. Every enchantment, uh, every sorcerer uh, tonight, uh, I come against them by the authority of the blood of Jesus. Wherever they are projecting from, uh, I put them on hold uh, by the authority of the blood of Jesus. Uh, command the Holy Ghost fire to begin to go to the people right now. Begin to destroy them. Begin to destroy them. The way they flying in the I command them to crash now. Man, lay the bastion. Shell the bayanda. Shell the bayanda. La force. Air in the bayanda. Air the bayanda. Every power is in rem. So confusion. Every power that is in rem. So many powers tonight. I come against them. I take authority over them. In the name of the Father, my God. In rem. Anything that the Lord God Almighty has planted. Every single one is not destroying in them. You are put them by fire. I have put them by fire. I have put them by fire. Every Sapeta street, every marine street, walking against them, present in them. I drag, I drag with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I put them to the fire. 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 I put them to
We lose them tonight. I lose my brother tonight. I lose them tonight. I lose them tonight. Ma sire balanda haba tonight. Who is it that said the comment to pass when the Lord God Almighty commanded this for Lord, you have not commanded sickness in Rema. You have not commanded violence in Rema. You have not commanded violence in Rema. It's always where we us in Rema. It is where with men and women in Rema. It is where with the children in Rema. It is where we us all over. Hallelujah, glory be to your name, Lord. You are Alpha and oh. Omega. Oh. <coughs> tonight uh, you begin to pray you will say every evil load upon my soul every evil load upon my head uh, evil load of poverty evil load of sickness evil load of barrenness evil load of backwardness uh, evil load of reprogression uh, evil load of lukewarmness uh, evil load of laziness uh, every evil load upon my life i command you to catch fire begin to open your mouth to declare tonight uh, you begin to open your mouth and declare and declare you begin to request of that every evil load uh, every evil load is placed upon your life uh, in the every evil load is in your life uh, so tonight, Every evil load upon my head, every evil load upon my destiny, that's why you evil load, that's why you load of poverty, evil load of happiness, 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 evil load of Every bullet upon my life, every bullet upon my life, I come to the life. Every bullet upon the life of the brethren, I command every bullet to fire. Welcome to the 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 Oh, my God. 
Father of the enemy, for 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 the enemy, the Lord will give you all the praise. He will give you all the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you all the praise. 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 Outside and outside my tongue, every evil load from the occult, from the amok, from the witches, from the wizard, cast fire and die. Cast fire, evil work from the wicked father, wicked mother, wicked uncle, household in it. Cast fire, cast fire and scatter into pieces. I release the fire and thunder of God. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. There is no one like you. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. Jesus. You are the end. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are the God that rides upon the wings of the wind. You are the. Yes, and no man will say no. Huh? Tonight you begin to declare the decree. Huh? You will say it is well with you. Huh? You will oh, say to me, every sickness they are planted in my life. Huh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You will open your Hallelujah. mouth tonight. You will pray. You will say that every sickness they have planted in your life to manifest now or in the future. Huh? You will uproot it with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Huh? You yes. will make to understand that, that you are not a candidate of sickness. Uh. You will make that sickness to understand uh, that the word of the Lord has said that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Uh. If your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, uh, there is no way sickness will be dwelling in your body. There is no way five blood will be dwelling in your body. You will open your mouth tonight. Uh. You will begin to declare every sickness they are planted in my body to manifest now or to manifest in the future in the life of our children, in the life of our husband, our wife. Uh. Our siblings, our parents, you begin to open that sickness. Our body cannot. Yeah, your body cannot. 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 When Jesus stands for me, who will they can When Jesus speaks in my life, no demon can speak to me. So Jesus says, yes, nobody can see me. Jesus, when you say yes, nobody can see me. You say that your strife we are here, that your strife we are here. Every pollution in the night as we are sleeping, every sickness they project in our life during the dream, physically, to manifest now or to manifest in the future. Amen. 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 We scatter it by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I hope everyone can hear me. Can the host praise the Lord? Tell Jesus Christ now. We are going to hold him to this word. Can the host mute them, please? Praise the Lord. Thank you, mute them, please. Okay. Um. When we hear um, like praise the Lord, um, we should know that uh, it's like um, maybe a stop for the prayer, then maybe another kind of prayer point. <clears throat> um, 
Okay, praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, another thing, another thing we we'll do is um, for most of us here, ensure that your you're using um, a picture or you're on a video um, platform also um, so that it can be nice for the viewers to also watch, you know, okay. Okay, tonight is another night and um, I believe um, tonight is going to be your night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, Amen. Amen. Okay, if I also take a song, I don't expect everybody to sing along with me. Or if you sing along with me, you can be muted the way you are. Maybe just only one person from the choir can sing with me. Um, then you all can keep singing, but um, um, you can you can be on mute so that the intensity of the voice would help others to get that. Um, that's one. Uh, also, when we begin to make more prayers also, uh, some persons or most persons can be on mute. I believe maybe most of the prayer warriors that are here can just unmute their mic and pray alone. So it's going to really help us by the grace of God. And uh, another thing also is uh, for some of us also joining, if you have not used your name, you use your name uh, so that we can always see your name. But I believe that almost everybody are with their names, you know, uh, so it's always good. Okay. Just like you see mine. And it changes here. So I believe that's how it should be. So um, not using a name that we might not really recognize so much. Okay. I believe God is going to bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Before I continue, you must have one target. You can learn something from the devil. Or you can learn something... The Bible says that uh, <clears throat> there are things you can learn from the serpent also. Uh, what is one of the things that I see or I learned from the serpent? I realize he has one target. He does not have two targets or three targets or ten targets. So many people have plenty of targets. But he has one target. The basic target of the devil, his plans or his works, is basically Christians. That's his target. And he has one act. What is the act of the devil? The act of the devil is evil. So he can't stop doing evil because that's his act. That's what he desires to want to portray. or That's what he just wants to do. You can't stop it. It's just the act there is evil. His target there is the Christians. It must be the same thing also for the Christian. My act must be to do good or to live a life of total holiness. Let's put it this way, to live according to God's word. That must be my act. And my target also must be the powers of the evil one also. But it's different for Christians because Christians have plenty targets. Their targets are on the earth. And their targets are also trying to chase the wicked one. And their targets are also, you know, they are fellow human beings like them. So you don't have business fighting with human beings. You don't have business fighting with friends and people around you. That's not your business. Your basic target should be the devil and his wicked enemies and those that desire to put you down. So that's why when the devil looks at Christians, he laughs. Or when he looks at the earth, because he looks at it that these ones, they don't think like I think. He has only one motive, but these ones, they have 20 motives. They have 10 motives. They have 10 desires and all the rest. You won't capture the devil like that. So which means if you make this your number one goal, also, and your desire, you will see that you will live an overcoming Christian life because your target and your act are just towards one thing to press forward to strike the enemy. So that as we pray, we now know where we are setting our prayers on. We are trying to 
target wicked powers. We are trying to target the things that the devil has put in that would not help us to achieve or actualize our basic goal, which is to live that life of total holiness and purity. So that's why when we are praying right now, we pray with understanding. It's the understanding that we pray with that basically gives birth to a lot of answers. I pray that the Lord will have his way in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood. Set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Set me free. From sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and soul, the blood of Jesus that let me. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Okay, right now, wherever you are, you begin to lift up the name of Jesus. Begin to exalt his name as we go to him in prayer. Begin to exalt the name of the Lord. Begin to exalt his powerful name. Begin to exalt his mighty name. Begin to exalt how glorious he is, how wonderful he is, 
how glorious, how perfect he is. The mightiness of our God, the gloriousness of our God, begin to appreciate him wherever he is for what he has been doing and for what he's going to do in our life tonight. Begin to thank him. Thank him because you see it. Thank him because you know it. Thank him because you acknowledge it. Thank him because you can visualize it. The mightiness of our God, the gloriousness of our God, the powerfulness of our God, the awesomeness of our God. Magnify this Jesus. Magnify this Jesus. Magnify this Jesus. Awesome Jesus. Powerful Jesus. Glorious Jesus. Victorious Jesus. He's victorious in battle. He's victorious in battles. We like unto thee. We like our God. We like unto thee. Above all other God. We like him. We like him. We like our God. We like this mighty loving God. We like this humble Father. We like unto you, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Lord, let your name be glorified. We exalt your name, we exalt your name, powerful Jesus. We exalt your name, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, we exalt your name, Lord. Oh, Lord, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. Oh Lord, you are God. Oh Lord, you are my God. Oh Lord, I am that I am. Oh Lord, you are my Oh Lord, your ways are not the ways of man. Your ways are not the ways of man. I give you the praise. Oh Lord, your ways are not the ways of man. I give you the praise. Oh Lord, your ways are not the ways of man. Your ways are not the ways of man. Your ways are not the ways of man. You do not think like we think. You do not reason like we reason. You do not visualize like the magic God because you are a good God. 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 Your mercy is endures forever. Your mercy is endures forever. Your mercy is endures forever, Lord. I reverence your name. We magnify you. Awesome God, we magnify you. This glorious God, we magnify you. Your mercy is upon my life. This God that will not slumber because of us. This God that will not slumber because of red members. This God that will not slumber because of red
he's, he's, he doesn't care, you know, they see him as, oh, this God is nothing, you know. That's how they think about God. But let me show you how good this God is. You were not there at night. You were not there the moment when you laid your bed. And so wicked entity began to walk on you. But you know, the angel of the Lord stood there, commanded by the Lord. And the Lord said, go forth and protect my daughter from the hands of the wicked one. You were not there. You were not there at that point in time, you know. You were not there, you know, when so many evil forces wanted to do something and cause a lot of accidents in your life and you were inside of the bus. And the Lord said, no, because of this, my daughter, her time is not yet up. Go there and protect her. And you saw that the car just did like this, just moved a little bit. Or, you know, one of the tires just road off and you don't know that that is the mighty work of God. Oh, you are not there. You know the life that is giving you to live, you know. So many times, so many wicked things must have befalled you and all the rest. So many people have gathered spiritually that you cannot see. So many environmental powers have gathered over you just because you bear the name of the Lord. And the Lord protected you. You know what he did? He covered you with his flaming fire. He covered you with a wall of fire. He covered you with his God. Garments. You were not there at that moment. Is that not enough reason to know that this God is still a good God? You were not there, you know. All the evil plot that the devil was planning and all the backwardness and failure. But the devil kept you. He kept you. He said, this is my daughter. No matter what, even though you say, God, you are unfaithful. God, you are wicked. God, you are this. But the God still protected you. He was watching you. He was looking at you. He was just looking at you. You know how a mother takes care of his baby. That's how God watches over you. The Bible says he watches over us with jealousy, you know. That's how he watches over you on your bed. That's how he watches over you on your couch. He looks at you, he says, oh, this is my daughter, because he knows that you don't just understand what he does for you. But God does not blow a trumpet and say, I'm the one that did that all for you and all the rest. You were not there, you know how he was providing for you. You didn't know. You said you had nothing to yourself, but he just sent somebody to your doorstep and he just sent somebody. He he allowed you to cross paths with that person and all of a sudden this person just helped you and gave you something oh you said God you are not there but you don't know it was God doing all those things for you he was the one projecting all those people to stand by your side oh you didn't know that it was the Lord working all for you when he didn't allow you. He didn't allow you to be put to shame and all the things happening. So you see that there's enough reason. This same God is a good God. And he has to be my, that's why I told myself no matter, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, one thing I know is that God is a good God. One thing I know is that God is a mighty God. One thing I know is that God will never change. One thing I know is that my situation will not make God to change himself. Your situation Situation will not be making God to be changing his ways and to be changing. God will not see you and begin to change. God will not see you and begin to say, oh, because of you, you know, it seems as if your own problem is big, you know, I will change my way now. I will change my step, you know. Then it means that this God fears so much, you know, I don't know. Then it means that this God, you know, he fears so much. But that's not our God. That's not who this God is. That's not who this God is. He's so mighty and he's so glorious that he thinks about you. But I don't know if that's the same way we think about his wondrous work in our life. How we think about his goodness and his mercies. How we think about his, his flourishing love upon our life. That's what God does for each and every one of us, you know. But he doesn't take a trumpet and begin to sound it and, and, you know, begin to make big noise and say, Oh, I was the one doing all that for you, you know. You are just moving your car. And you know, some certain things were supposed to be uh, was supposed to happen. He protected you from all those things. He kept you from all those things, and he's the one still keeping you alive. If you remove God from the life of any man, that's why when people say God does not exist and all the rest, and when people doubt the deity and the power of God, you know, it's just very much funny because if you remove the word God from their life, they are nothing. They are down six feet. So you see, there are enough reasons, a thousand of reasons to glorify the Lord, a thousand of reasons to magnify the Lord, plenty of reasons to thank Him, to thank Him. And if you continue that way, you know, you see that you cannot just stop. You cannot just stop His unending love. And may His name be glorified forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We will Amen. begin to pray. We will begin to pray, you know, to distress the work of the enemy. Remember what I said in the beginning. We have one target. You have one target. 
I have one target. Our target is the enemy. It's the enemy. We as a ministry have one target. It's the enemy. We are not after any other person. You know, which other person do you want to go after? It's the enemy himself. The enemy that has decided that you will have no rest. The enemy that has decided that he will be troubling you 24 hours a day. The enemy that has decided that he will put sadness and sorrow upon your life. The enemy that has decided that he will put darkness upon your life. The enemy that has decided all those things. This is one target we have. Uh, we have one target to strike the wicked powers of darkness. Uh. We have one target tonight uh, to go into the wicked kingdom uh, and uproot all those things they are taking from you and from me. We have one target uh, to distress the enemy, to distress all his wicked cohorts, to distress all his wicked agents, to distress all the wicked power. That's one target you have. That's one target I have. That's one target we all have, you know, all those things that he has put in there. He has put in there invisibly. He has put in there spiritually. We want to uproot all those wickedness. We want to uproot all those wickedness away from the life of the children of God. That's why I know when Jesus was on the earth, Jesus never, he never took some time, so much of time to rest. Every time he went to the mountain, but he was the son of God. Every time he went to the mountain, but he was the son of God. Every time he went to the mountain, but he was the son of God. And you see, it's Jesus. And Jesus was so powerful. Powerful. And Jesus had all the powers. And Jesus was the Son of God. He was God Himself. Just made man and came down to the earth just for you and I. But still, yet He prayed. But still, yet He was praying. But still, yet He was retrieving to the mountain. But still, yet He was spending hours with the Lord. But still, yet He was spending time with the Lord. But still, yet He was even fasting. But still, yet He was called because He knows. He knows that once you are on the earth, once you have become flesh, once you are not spirit, but you are on the earth, once you are on this earth, Satan must trouble you. Whether you like it or not, once you are on this earth, once you are taking the form of flesh, once you are on this earth, you are not a spirit, though. once you are on this earth, no matter how who you are, as long as you are on this earth and you have this flesh, you have body, you have blood running through your veins, Satan must trouble you. That is his desire. He will have no rest until he troubles and he troubles. It's not just only the Christians. Those that once he knows you have flesh and blood, he hates flesh and blood because he sees the image. He sees the likeness. He sees the image of God in you. And that's why, you know, he wants to truncate you. You know why? So that he can take your spirit away. He can take your soul away. And he can throw you into the fiery fire. He can throw you into the pit. That's why he's doing all those things. So, you know, you don't have to get tired. And you don't have to get weary. And you don't have to say, you know, ah, this thing is too much for me. Oh, and all the rest. No, that's not how you... You need to keep praying. You need to keep coming to the Lord constantly. Every day by day, you know until he begins to make Jerusalem a sound of praise. And I believe God is going to do so in your life, wherever you are, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. And that thing again is, you must have total faith in Jesus. As we begin to go to God in prayer, you must have total faith, you know. Why do I pray? The reason why I pray, even before now we are praying, and the reason why we pray, and the reason why I pray is that I know that there is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing your God cannot do. He that parted the Red Sea. There is nothing your God cannot do. He that parted the Red Sea. There is nothing your God cannot do. He that parted the Red Sea. There is nothing this God cannot do. He that parted the Red Sea. There is nothing God cannot do. He there is nothing a God can do. There is nothing a God can do. He 
the divine and the Red Sea. There is nothing God cannot do. He the Red Sea. There is nothing God cannot do. He that made the sun to shine. There is nothing your God cannot do. He the path the Red Sea. There is nothing your God cannot do. Another thing is to believe the word as it is written. Another thing is to believe the raw words. The raw word. The raw word. When the Bible says there is nothing God cannot do, it means that there is nothing God cannot do. It means that there is still nothing God cannot do. It means that there is still nothing God cannot do. That's the raw word. That's the raw word. It's not undiluted. It is the same way it is written in the Bible. It is the same way it can take place in your life. It is the same way it is written in the word of God. It is the same way it can take place in your life. And so when you have prayed, and so when you have called on the Lord, and so when you have fasted, and you know it seems as if those things are not are still there still trust in the lord still trust in the word of god just take the raw word as it is when the bible said and jesus came to set man free i know you believe that right and i know you believe that jesus came to set is the raw word you know did we mix anything into that word and say and jesus came sometimes and he came another time and you know and jesus came two years and he just came to set no it's just the raw word and jesus came to set man free you know when the bible begins to say you know and all those that believe in him and they shall be saved. Is it not just so? Truly, all those that believe in him shall be saved. And also, when the now Bible says in Philippians 2, when it now says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, that every knee shall bow. It's just the same word, you know. We are not adding anything to that Bible. We are not adding anything to the word. We are not saying something like, eh, and sometimes at the mention of the name of Jesus, if you say anybody speaking like that, you know, just know that this is an antichrist because it's adding to the word. But the Bible just say, and at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And I'm not saying something like, and at the mention of the name of another person, every knee shall bow. It's just the word of God. What am I saying? The raw word. As it is taken from the oven, you eat it like that, and it becomes truth in your life. As it is taken from the word also, take it like that. If you want to tear it, tear it and imprint it in your heart, and it is established according to the word of the Lord. So that's why, you know, when people tell me, children, you know why is it that this is not happening i say don't blame me you know go to the word of god so you know what i do is i put all the blame on jesus what what am i trying to say you know i when people try to ask for some certain things and you know they try to look for healing and all the rest i say just believe in the word you know it means that i'm putting all the dependency on jesus i'm trying to put everything on jesus okay just look at jesus what am i saying just look at jesus because i know that he's the only person that can do all things you know so i'm trying to free myself i'm trying to put everything so that's what you need to do free yourself a little put everything on jesus free yourself a little put everything on jesus free yourself Set a little put everything. That's why we pray. That's why we pray. That's why we pray because we believe in that powerful name. That's why we pray because we believe that as we call on him tonight, he's gonna answer us. And wherever you are, because distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit, he's gonna answer you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You repeat after me, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. As we begin to pray. As we begin to pray. Release your fire in our spirit. Release your fire in our spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of God. Begin to pray, child of God. Begin to pray. That the Lord will release fire in your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. To pray, oh Lord, that the Lord, that the Lord, and please, your fire, your spirit, 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 your f
We release your fire, Lord. We release your fire in our spirit, oh Lord. Oh God, my God, we release your fire in our spirit. The Lord, the fire in your spirit, the fire in your spirit, the fire in your spirit. Wherever you are, wherever you are, oh Lord, we release your fire. We release your fire. 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 Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, you are going to release your fire. My father, my father, I will release your fire. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, you are going to release your fire. My father, my father, I will release your fire. I will release your fire in our spirit. Lord, ah, bring down your way, Lord, ah, release your fire in our spirit right now, ah, release your fire in our spirit right now, ah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Upon the spirit of your children, In Jesus Christ's name, we we'll pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. We we'll pray over over every wicked garment that has been worn upon you in the spirit. Listen to me. It's not by being in the physical and wearing a good dress. And somebody can be on the earth. And in the physical, he's wearing a good dress. He's wearing, you know, a sumptuous dress. He's wearing a beautiful dress. In the spiritual, oh, the person is wearing what is called a filthy garment. He's wearing something that looks like rag. He's wearing something that looks like, you know, some wicked, wicked attires of the wicked one, you know. They just put it like a cloak on the person. And with that thing, no no matter what you do, you can never move forward. No matter what you do, you know, you see that nothing you ever do, you know, would all just pay for its way. The doors cannot be opened upon your life because there is an evil garment upon your body. There is an evil garment that is upon your spirit, man. There is an evil garment standing in the way. You know, that's the power of deception. But the devil can allow you to dress well in the physical, but in the spiritual, there is an evil garment. In the spiritual, it's just like, you know, there is a lot of crumb, there is a lot of rubbish, and there is a lot of evil things moving all around your body. And that's somebody that is somewhere, somewhere in the dungeon. Spiritually, the person is in the dungeon. Physically, the person can be moving all right. So we want to pray right now. Every wicked garment, uh, every wicked garment uh, standing upon your life, uh, right now, let them be scattered right now. Uh, in the Amen. Name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every wicked garment, 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 every
You know, the Lord will visit the person. And you know, this guy, this person is this person is thinking of running away. I said, you just want to run away. You want to run away from that place. You want to run away from the house, you know. But the Lord is telling me to tell you there. You stay there. You stay there because wherever you are, the Lord will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That problem that has come to a big sorrow in your heart. That problem that has come to the biggest and the greatest torment in your heart. Wherever you are, I see the angel of the Lord will begin to go there right now to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, that sister that I am talking to right now, I say wherever you are, you don't run away from that place. You stay there because Jesus is fighting for you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing somebody there. You have something like a case, a case, a case, a case. Something that has to, it's even trying to involve something that has to do with, you know, police and something like that. And that has to do with arrest and all the rest. I say wherever Wherever you are, the Lord is vindicating you. I Amen. see wherever you are, the Lord is vindicating you. I Amen. see wherever you are, the Lord will show you mercy. He'll Amen. show you great mercy. He'll show Amen. you great mercy. He'll show you great mercy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak Amen. upon your life. Everything that has been stolen away from you, that has been stolen away from your life. See, the things that belong unto you, this is the month of June. This is the month of June. The things that belong unto you and your family. And the devil said, I will take this thing away from you. I will not allow you to see this thing. I will not allow you to have this thing. Right now, let the fire of God begin to consume every wicked kingdom that holds down your blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, because you are a child of God, you are a daughter of Zion, because you are a son of God, every power that is capturing the things that belong to you, every power that is caging your blessing and putting
putting it under a border. I'm putting it under a tree. I'm putting it under a evil forest. I say, let them begin to cut my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A wicked man. A wicked man that is appearing to you. I see you there. And if we look as if this man will not allow you to have rest. Russia, Mikhail, Tetalia, Rasaya, Sumiha. I command the fire of God to set Bablis, every wicked strong man chasing you from left to right. They don't want you to have rest. They don't want you to have peace. They don't want you to have joy in your home. That wicked strong man. I see wherever you are. Let the thunderous fire both begin to hit you right now. I say, let the thunder of God begin to meet you. I say, let the thunder of God begin to meet you. Every strong man. Every strong man. Moving after your life. Moving after your destiny. I say, let them begin to be destroyed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. You trouble the enemy that trouble your children tonight. You trouble the enemy that trouble your children tonight. You trouble the enemy that trouble your children tonight. You trouble the enemy that trouble your children tonight. You trouble the principalities that have decided to trouble your children. They have decided to trouble your children. I say, let them be troubled. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil load that you are carrying there, every evil load that you are carrying there, that is when you down. That is when you down in the Christian journey. That is when you down in the Christian journey. Every addiction, every addiction, you don't want to do it, but you see yourself doing it. You don't want to do it, but you see yourself doing it. You wicked spirit of addiction, I command you, you wicked load. That has split that young man. It is because of this addiction, young man. That is why you have never moved forward. Uh. That is why you are still at the same place. Uh. That is why you still experience backwardness. Uh. That is why it seems as if nothing is happening. Uh. I say, wherever you are right now, I break every wicked force. Uh. I break every wicked chain. Uh. Standing against your life. Uh. Standing against your life. Uh. Standing against your life. Uh. Standing against your destiny. Uh. You young man. Uh. Every addiction uh. that is putting a heavy load on you. Rasu Get away from that place right now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Right now you repeat after me. My father, my father. My father, my father. Every stronghold. Every stronghold. Using my picture for incantation. Using my picture for incantation. Ah, it's very easy. Oh. Listen to me. The people that I pity the most are, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to understand these prayer points very much well. You know, if somebody is not a sound Christian, the devil will finish. The devil will finish a lot of people. Many of these people that you see. If God has not called you for a team, please don't go. It's dangerous. You see many of all these posters you are seeing all around. People put a lot of posters all around. The devil is very strategic. Mostly posters when it comes to posters of preachers. That's why you need to cover your picture with the blood of Jesus. Pictures on Facebook and all the rest, cover it with the blood of Jesus. It's very easy. Once they can take your picture, it's very easy for them to see deep into your destiny. If you are not a true child of God, that's if you are the person that you are playing left and right. You are playing front and back. We don't even know if you are here. We don't even know if you are here. And you are deceiving yourself. And in the public, people think that, yes, you are doing it well. But in the secret, you are a defeated Christian. You are a defeated believer. You are a defeated brother. You are a defeated sister. It's easy for the devil to work on you. Many of all these pictures you see around, I believe that there are kingdoms where the devil just packs all these things. And you know you know what he begins to do? He lays courses on those pictures. He lays spiritual courses on them. And that's why you see people will never move forward. Because once he sees that picture, because they are not children of God, they don't know the Lord, but they pretend to, they are deceiving themselves, you know. You are a Christian 
Christian and you are fighting human beings. What's your business with human beings? You are a Christian and you are fighting a church, you are fighting a ministry. What's your business? You are not a true Christian. If you are a true disciple of Jesus, you face the devil himself. Don't be facing you people. You face the devil. Face that devil that is causing you the problem. Don't be facing human beings. Don't face me. I'm not the cause. Face the devil himself. That's the that's your enemy. That's your big enemy. That's my enemy. That's who I'm to face. And so that's what the devil has succeeded in doing. So he takes their picture and he, he can't. He puts incantation. He lays causes. He lays wickedness. He puts everything there. And after those things, you see that most times they tend to work because the Christians want, they are not vigilant. They are not watchful. They are not prayerful. And they are not the firebrand kind of Christian, you know. And that's why we want to pray. Maybe by virtue of ignorance. Uh, maybe by virtue of spiritual laziness. Uh, maybe by virtue of wanting or the other and all the rest. And such kind of... And the devil has taken your picture. He has taken my picture. He has taken our picture into a wicked coven. And he's putting incantation there. And the picture is sitting down there very much where your own picture and is using it to do right now you begin to pray begin to release fire begin to release fire and bright stone uh, for the wicked kingdoms uh, that are taking your picture for incantation uh, that are taking your picture for spiritual wickedness uh, wherever you are on this planet uh, wherever you are Lord, uh, every wicked power that has taken your picture that has taken the children your picture the children of your picture Oh Lord, uh, this is your internet, this is your Facebook. Uh, Lord, I say let them catch fire. I say let them catch fire. I say let them catch fire. Oh Lord, uh, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, bring it on your way. Lord, uh, wherever uh, every weekend power, uh, every body power that has taken the picture of any member of my family, uh, that has taken the picture of any member of my family. Uh, oh Lord, uh, any member of Rema, uh, any member of Rema. Holy Spirit, 
Nigeria. They don't mind connecting the ones in Europe. They don't mind connecting the demons in Europe just because of you. <laughs> just because of you. Maybe you are in you are in you are in Asia or maybe you are in Japan. Just because of you that is if they see that the environmental spirit there is not enough to capture you, they can even be calling, making I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do their astral projection. But they can be calling the one in Nigeria. Maybe you are from Nigeria. They can even be calling the one in your village. 
and they can be calling the one in Asia. They can even do so many. They will just keep on doing those things just to ensure, just to ensure that the child of God is destroyed. So you see how the devil gets connected. That's why, you know, I love to connect Christians in prayer. As this one is praying, this one is praying. Because I learned that thing from the wicked one. I learned that thing from the snake. The Bible says, be, be as wise as a serpent. Because he has some kind of wisdom. But he's, he's without full understanding. They get connected. Just because of you, they will connect, 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 connect. Until they strike you down. That's mm. how we want to connect. We want to connect the armies of heaven. Amen. Amen. We want to connect, connect the armies of heaven. That's what is called the armies of heaven. So that they will go and fight for you. We Amen. want to connect the warrior angels and the Lord Jesus, the master Jesus, the powerful Jesus. We will just give them the command and Jesus will just go there and begin to begin to fight and, you know, the battle will take place, you know. Jesus is no match for these ones. All he needs to do is to send the warrior angels or send Michael and send maybe send the archangel Michael and the battle begins to take place. The battle begins to take He does not even need to send this one. Even you, you as you are, he can even send you, you know, and put fire inside of you. And spiritually, he will use you to torment all those your oppressors. He's doing that to show you that you are powerful also with him. Not without Jesus. With Jesus, you are powerful. Without Jesus, you are the most powerless being on the surface of the earth. Amen. Not by power. Amen. Not by strength. So when I say we want to battle the enemy, I'm not saying, Chino, say, what can I do on my own? You know, me, I'm very powerless. So I don't even have power. Physical power, I don't have. Even spiritual power, zero. Except with Jesus. Amen. But with Jesus... That's where I put my boast on. With Jesus, that's where I put all my strength and my armor on. Because I know that when you are with Jesus, you have it all. You are one with majority. So right now, we want to go to battle. The powers that are tormenting your household, that are tormenting any member of your household, that are tormenting any member of my household, that are tormenting the things that, as long as they are connected to you by blood, wherever they gather, let them scatter by thunder. In the name of Jesus, begin to fire prayer. Fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer. Fire prayer, fire prayer. In the name of Jesus.
Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Begin to pray, Lord. Every week, I power, Lord. Standing up, I remember. Oh, my house, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my house, Lord. I say, let them come right now. Let them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let them come. 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 Let them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Do not be ignorant of the devices of the wicked one. Don't ever be ignorant. Don't ever be ignorant. As some of you are here, you are a spiritual identity already. And you are you are like a representative for a whole lot of people, even though you don't know it. And you know, spiritually, they are counting on you. Spiritually, they are counting on you to release them from that wicked bondage that the devil has put them in. Because they don't have the level of spiritual understanding that you have. And so, you know, you that the Lord has opened your eyes to truth. Why is it that in a family of, in a large multitude, why is it that God just opens the eyes of one or two persons and all the rest? No, they yield themselves to the Lord. But the Lord desires that through this one seed that I have opened, other seed will begin to germinate. Or other people will begin to come from that lions. Why did God just call one person? He called Abraham. He called Abraham. And out of Abraham, he said, many will come out of you. That's how the Lord operates in the spirit world. He calls one person. He called Jesus. He knows that from the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus and the power of the cross, multitude of souls will be saved. And that's why he called one man. He called John the Baptist. And when he called John, you know, when the angel come, when the angel was trying to prophesy about his death and all the rest, <laughs> said, this man will be a blessing. And he just called one man. That's how God, in all generations, he keeps calling one man. He keeps calling one person. But in this last days, he has poured out his spirit of so many. And also he desires that out of this so many, many more souls will come into the kingdom and will come into everlasting light. I will know the Lord and we understand the ways of the Lord. That's why he has done that. And I believe that the grace of the Lord will be established upon your life wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to still keep praying that wherever you are, 
That is what it is to become a spiritual principality. The word principality is not just a crone to wickedness or you know demonic influence and all the rest. It's an influence of power that you have, an influence of authority that you have to dominate a particular area and all the rest. I believe that somebody like the Apostle Paul was like a principality, you know, he was so powerful. Not, not physically, but spiritually. And in the kingdom of darkness, they knew him. You can imagine that every place, every area, every location where Apostle Paul was, it sent so much of signal to the kingdom of darkness. He was so much of a great terror because he was not just an ordinary one. He was a true disciple of Jesus Christ. And that's why we want to pray for this kind of fire. This kind of fire. This kind of fire of sonship, this kind of fire of disciple, this kind of fire to be a child of God, uh, to rest upon everyone in here. You know, so that when the devil is seeing you, he doesn't just see an ordinary person there. He sees somebody that is like a principality, that is so much powerful right now. You begin to pray that the fire of God begin to rest upon your life wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, uh, the fire of God, uh, he begins to rest upon your life. Uh. Of the Lord. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, in the, in the mighty name, name of Jesus, Jesus the fire Christ of God, he begins to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus. let the fire of the Lord Jesus rest upon me, begin to rest upon me, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God rest upon my life, let the fire of God rest upon my life, let the fire of God rest upon my life, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 Lord, let your fire be your rest, let your fire be your rest, upon our lives, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you, in the name of Jesus, upon my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your fire rest upon my life, let your fire rest upon my life, let your fire rest in the name of Jesus. 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 My father, my father, right now every evil power you know that are trying to that are trying to stand over your life that's every weak evil power you know that are trying to stand over your life let them be exposed from every wicked mm. angle every evil power you know mm. that are standing over your life that are standing over your destiny what we want to pray right now is let the lord begin to expose them i don't know how god wants to expose them I don't know how God wants to expose it to you. Maybe there are hidden things, you know, that the devil is just covering up. He doesn't want you to even know where the problems are coming from or the angle 
for you to face and to focus and to channel your prayers and to channel those things that from today let the Lord begin to expose all those things or maybe there is an evil power that okay. is standing in your household or there is an evil entity or there is an evil cockroach or there is an evil animal oh, or there is an okay. evil rat that ah. is inside of your room uh, that oh, is God. inside of where you stay or there is something mm. evil you know that is standing and that is masterminding the problems that Jesus. you are having in your marriage uh, or there is an evil power you know that is standing and mastermind, and that is the cause of all the problems that you have been going through in life uh, or there is an evil hand you know that is trying that is zoking into your health uh, that is zoking into your body uh, or that wherever that thing is coming from right now. Uh, we want the Lord to turn on them and begin to expose them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, begin to cry to the Lord. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right in now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor Master. Lord Jesus, any power that is in the power or is in red or is in our wherever they are. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, let them be exposed. 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 Let them Jesus, name of Jesus, right now, if we want to pray another strategic prayer, this 3 a.m. on the door. This 3 a.m. on the dot. Praise the Lord. Amen. There are kingdoms that specifically work at this point in time. At mm -hmm. this strategic hour. See, mm -hmm. we want to pray that everything that this wicked kingdom that work at this strategic hour has taken away from your life. That the Lord begins to turn that day. See, wherever they gather and they are consulting your name and they are calling your name, every wicked mirror, every witchcraft power, whether it's from your father's house, whether it's from your mother's house, whether it's from your household, whether it's from your uncle's side, I don't want to know wherever those things are coming from. Uh, every wicked sinner, uh, they are gathered uh, and a night, uh, or every wicked power that is using your star for promotion. Maybe the only way they get promoted is by using your star. Is by using your star, and that is why you are there right now listening to me. After the, you get this job, all of a sudden it will go off. Another one will come. It will go off. Another one will come. It will go off. You never last too long in a particular job, uh, because the devil does not want you to be stable. And you know, you are there right now, uh, and your life has become a mess uh, to the point that you are asking yourself, you know, take my life, oh Lord, take my life, oh Lord. You are there listening to me, and you are still. Take my life, oh Lord. What is there to live for? Take my life, oh Lord. No, the Lord will not take your life. Uh. The Lord, but the Lord will give you a reason to rejoice. Uh. But the Lord will give you a reason to be happier. Uh. But the Lord will give 
give you a reason to be to, to rejoice and people will begin to see the goodness of God in your life. You know, people saw you as a shame. People saw you as a disgrace. Don't worry. When Jesus will finish with you, they will begin to see his grace upon your life. When Jesus finishes with you, they will begin to see his grace upon your life. I prophesy unto your life as a servant of the most high living God. Every power that troubles you, I see let them be troubled today. Every power that troubles you, I see let them be troubled today. Every power that troubles you, I see let them be troubled today. I see let them be troubled today. I release fire upon your village. I release fire in your father's house. Every wicked power monitoring you. Every snake monitoring you. Every rat monitoring you. Every pussy cat monitoring you. I turn that them by fire. I turn that them by fire. I say you will have no rest in the fire. I say you will have no rest in the fire. Wherever they are looking at you, wherever they are taking your glory and your star, wherever they have turned it to shame, wherever they have turned it to disgrace, wherever they have turned it to disappointment, Rayusa Mikate Tatatatatatatatalia, Holy Ghost, Swami Kate Rusanya Mikate, Amen. I am of God, I release the fire of God, I release the fire of God, in the name of Jesus, wherever every weekend power that has decided to torment you, that has decided to put you in disgrace and shame, that has decided to make you to beg, I command that power, I say let them catch fire right now, in the mighty name. Of Jesus, every power that has tormented your Christian life, Lord, wherever your children are right now. To raise the fire. I begin to release the fire. I begin to release the fire. I begin to release the fire of God. I begin to release the fire of God. Upon the things that are concerning them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, 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 Lord. Begin to have your way. Begin to have your way. I see that sick child there. I see that sick child there. I say the healing power of Jesus touches him as he is on his bed right now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That wicked thing that they have struck into your heart, uh, that wicked thing that has struck into your heart, uh, and it looks as if the heart pain comes and it goes, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes, and you are even experiencing that right now. Uh, wherever you are right now, uh, I turn that with the wicked power that has set an arrow into your heart. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, Lord, wherever your children are, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, begin to visit them. You know, this is their problem, right now. You know, this is their problem, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, 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 Lord. I see that sister there. I see that sister there. And you're asking yourself, as I'm speaking right now, you have nothing at all. You know, your story is almost similar, you know, to that woman that had a child and she had nothing with her. And you are asking questions, and you are asking, you know, and you have a child with you there. And you are thinking, you know, how is this going? Or come, uh, how am I gonna take care of this? Uh, Lord God Almighty, I say you surprise that sister wherever she is. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, I travel into the realm of the spirit. Uh, every weekend power, I release the sword, uh, the sword that Jesus gave me, uh, the sword of authority, the sword of power. I struck every weekend power, I struck the head of every weekend sinner uh, that is standing against your life. Uh, I say that the blood begin to move. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, who near me, he called me Susami and he called me Susami and he and then he pressed to me and he was like, I tell him, and he pressed to me and he was like, who is your career, Lord? Every weekend stomach, every weekend stomach, every weekend stomach that they have been put in your life. Uh, every weekend stomach, every weekend stomach, every weekend stomach from one place to another. Lord, is that if all these kingdoms they connected themselves uh, because of your particular son. Uh, it's like they are connecting themselves. Uh, Lord, I say scatter them because the Bible said that uh, because their gathering is not of God, uh, they must scatter. Uh, they must scatter because their gathering is not of God. Lord, I hold you by your word. Uh, I hold you by your word. Uh, I hold you by the word of God. Uh, everything that they have implanted in the life of your children, everything that they have swallowed in the spirit water, uh, you will have no rest. You 
will not have rest, Satan. You will not have rest uh, for going uh, for going after the children of God, for going after any member. I say you will have no rest. Uh. You will have no rest. Uh. Every occultic kingdom uh, gathering at this point in time. Lord, I close down their gathering. I say I close down their gathering because they gather over your life. I say right now, I release fire brimstone in their occultic place wherever they are gathering. Lord, they will begin to see. They will see that some people are praying with fire. Some people are praying here covered with the Holy Ghost. Uh. They will begin to see a name. Uh. Your name is Jesus, uh, Lord, because you are shadow rosa uh, with your power in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are gathering right now, wherever they are gathering, the things they are taking, every key they are taking, I, I see that key they are taking away from you right now. I command this because I am a child of God. Uh, I command it to be so. I release that key. Oh, yeah, take your key, take the key that belongs to you, and then take the key that belongs to you, and then take it. what rubbish, what rubbish. Uh, why must the devil torment you? I say, take the Kids that belong to you. Let there be open doors in your life. Uh, the doors that the devil has closed, I open it in the name of Jesus. Uh, let it be so. According to the word of your servant, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, 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 begin to have your way, 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 Lord. Uh, oh, Lord, every backwardness, backwardness, uh, backwardness in the life of your children, backwardness and uh, taking them back. Uh, taking them back. Uh, that dream that you had. Uh, see yourself back home. Uh, see yourself in the village. It is an example of the backwardness that the devil is trying to put in your life. Right now, I raise it. I raise it. I say I raise it. Uh, I say I raise it. In the name of Jesus. That wicked snake. Every wicked snake. Every wicked snake kingdom. I don't care. I don't care if your name is queen. I don't care if your name is queen of course. I don't want to know. You are useless power. We defeated you on the cross 2,000 years ago. I I was with Jesus 2,000 years. I was with Jesus. The Bible said that we were with him. We were risen with him. And I am seated with him in great and in glorious high places. The Bible has shows me. He has shows us of our authority in Christ Jesus. I take authority and dominion. In the name of Jesus. I take power and audacity. I take the keys that Jesus gives to the church right now. Whatever I decree must be established. It must be established because God will not lie. God mm, does mm. not lie in his word. God can mm. never lie. I don't see where God is mm. lying now. Because the word of God is sure. And the word of God is the bottom line. I take the word of God. Every door that is closed upon your children. I say today, let it be open. I say Amen. today, let it be open. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. You wicked power. Ah, you are called the kingdom. Where would you have rest? Where would you have rest? Where would you have rest? Lord, yes. let their enemies never have rest. Let their Amen. enemies never Amen. have rest. I say, let your enemies Amen. never have rest. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. the powers that decide to trouble Amen. your home, the powers that decide to trouble your home, the powers that decide to trouble, I say, let them be troubled right now. I say, let them be troubled. I release the fire. I release a flaming sword. A flaming, a flaming sword. In the realm of the spirit, I release that sword. Let the angels of God, all our angels, begin to go to their houses. Begin to go to their rooms right now. Go to their rooms. Go to their rooms. I command you. I am a servant of Jesus. Go to their rooms right now. According to the word of the Lord. Go there and re remove, fish out everything that is standing in their way, and let us pass. Uh, Lord, we bulldoze every power. Get away from that place so that we can pass and pass and get to the destination where you promise us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the powers that want to frustrate your children, the powers that want to frustrate. I say you'll be frustrated. Uh, I say you'll be frustrated. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He that keep it Israel never sleep nor slumber. Amen. Have God ever slept? How can God sleep? God cannot sleep because He's watching about the affairs of men. If Satan does not sleep, is it now God that will be sleeping? Or if Satan does not sleep, is it Jesus that will now be sleeping? No, in the spirit world, they don't sleep. In the spirit world, time becomes timeless. So it is only on earth that we have time. So in the spirit world, what you call time is not time, it is a normal thing. So they watch over the affairs of men. That's why your father is jealous of you. Amen. Wherever you are right now, I decree your guardian angel that has been caged. I say they will be released tonight. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that your guardian angel will be 
to show you mystery. That your guide mm. angel will begin to open your eyes. That your guide angel will begin to fight for you. That your guide mm. angel will begin to terrorize mm. your enemy. Mm. That's why Jesus said, the Bible said, be still, for I am there with you. What it means, be still, is that as you are getting, he's working for you. So it says, be still, don't worry, take rest, take rest, don't worry, stop worrying. I'm working for you, I'm working for you. Only all you need to do is call on me and just be praying to me. I will definitely answer. That's how Jeremiah 33 verse 3 came. Mm. Because he's working for you. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's working for you. Because he's working for you. Troubles will come, but they will not last. Because your God is working for you. Because your heavenly father never sleeps nor slumber. That's why I love to play the song by Domion. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never tires of hearing your prayers. When you are weak, he makes you stronger. So rest in his word and cast all of your cares on him. God never sleeps nor slumber. Wherever you are, the Lord will visit you tonight. I say 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 the Lord will visit you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every agent of darkness that has been sent. Every agent of darkness that has been sent. Maybe they send them, you know, listen to me. Satan can never like something that is genuine. You must, you must always understand that. And if, if, if we were using magic, if somebody was using magic, you know, he can be happy, you know, he can, he can like it, you know, he will not distress you too much because you are of his kingdom. But when you are not of his kingdom, he can never ever love you. He can never ever like you. He's dead. He would determine to try to do everything to stop you. And that's why I don't believe that Rem as a ministry, or I don't believe that Rem as a movement, we would not have spiritual forces. It's a lie. As long as we are standing on the word, as long as we are preaching and standing on the message of heaven, ah, there will be spiritual forces. There will be spiritual forces. But yeah. see the good news. <clears throat> the good news about it is that they can never conquer. There, there's a difference when somebody is fighting you. And there's a difference when somebody is winning the battle. Like I was telling some group of people, you know, a, a gigantic woman, I was just telling them, a, a woman appeared and she was with all these dreadlock, very big and all the rest. But one thing I knew is that in the spirit, I was just saying Holy Ghost fire. All of a sudden, I use something like a sword. I don't understand. To, to strike down the person and all the rest. Amen. There must be battles. Jesus yeah. did not say that there won't be battles. There must be battles. But the good news about it is you must overcome. If you don't overcome, yeah. that is where the problem is. So mm. there must be battles. The devil will even try to do and try to even send agents of darkness, even to come into them and do this and all the rest. No problem. So when I hear about this, I just sleep and I'm relaxed. No problem. There must be battles. Let them come. You know, but the good news about this is that they will be defeated. Yeah, they yeah. will be defeated by the power of Jesus Christ himself. Yeah. Amen. By battle. It's not my battle. The battle is of the Lord. Wherever they gather, every kingdom that gathers uh, over the work of God, every kingdom that gathers over them, I, I decree by the authority of the living God, I decree by the power and the anointing of the Most High Lord, uh, by the power of the word of God, uh, I say let them be turned out by fire right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Lord, you should let me know uh, if they shall speak uh, they shall speak as an oracle of God, uh, not just like an ordinary man, but as an oracle, Lord. Uh, I speak as an oh, oracle. God. Every wicked power that gathers uh, over Rema, over any child of God in here, Lord, I say, let the thunderous fire of God begin to hit them right now. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Those wicked powers trying to take you back. Those wicked powers trying to take you back. 
wherever they are, the Lord torments them right now. The Lord torments Amen. them. We are praying. Amen. Listen to me very much well. <laughs> I have understanding of the things that I do. As we are praying and I'm speaking this word, something is happening. In the spirit world, the angels of God are so alert. As I'm in this room right now, as I'm praying, multitudes of angels are already alert. All they need is, she knows they give the command. Child of God gives the command. Godwin, give the command. Charity, give the command. Pascaline, give the command. City, give the command. All of you, give the command. That's all they are expecting. Just give the command. They are already waiting. <laughs> From the time we decided that by 1 a.m. we would have our prayer, the angels are already waiting. Instantly. You know what they are waiting for? They are waiting that. Just give me the command. I will do it. Just tell me what you want me to do. I will do. Are you seeing how powerful you are? You are not just an ordinary person. You are powerful. Your spirit is too powerful. That's why the devil does not touch like that. And if the devil wants to kill you, is it not easy? Did you put food in your house? Why is it that you cannot go and put a poison inside of the food that you have cooked there? And so that when you eat it, you just die. <laughs> The spirit of man is also powerful. The soul of man is also powerful. And the body itself has power. And they are guardian angels. When the Lord says, I will not leave you. I will always be with you to the end of time. I don't believe Jesus is lying. I believe that if you are a disciple of Jesus, even till the end of time, even when you give up and you die and you leave this earth, Jesus or the angels of God must escort you to heaven. Amen. Because you are not just an ordinary person. You are a disciple. You see why I always talk about being a disciple of Jesus. I'm tired of using the word Christian. Because this Christian, 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 I don't understand what is Christian anymore. You know, because mm. the word has so much been bastardized and all the rest. So I choose to use the word disciple. Because disciple is somebody that follows after Jesus. So once you are a true disciple of Jesus... You will automatically get to heaven. Amen. So that is the truth of God's word. Is there any disciple of Jesus that didn't get to heaven? And so, but the only problem is because people are not disciples, they are religious. They are they are religion. There is a lot of religiosity and all the rest. Don't let your life be like that. Amen. So that whenever you even leave the earth. Whenever it is time, the angels of God, not a demon, even Jesus himself, will come and escort you and take you to your heavenly glory. Amen. Why? Amen. Because you are his disciple. You are his disciple. Amen. Have you watched when some people Amen. are doing some evil things? They celebrate their own disciple. They are like, oh, he's our own, you know. We will celebrate this person. We will celebrate that person. He's our own. That's the same way Jesus celebrates his own. You are his own. Amen. A choosing generation. Wherever you are, the Lord begins to fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Right now, we begin to go to the Lord in prayer again. We'll pray specifically for the body of Christ. We'll pray for, you know, true disciples of Jesus all over the world. There is a lot of storm. I was in the spirit some days back. And I saw something that looks like a storm. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like the sky. Let me use the word storm. But something like heavy moving all over it was just moving around i don't know it, it it didn't look like i was in nigeria because it looked like i was i was outside and i saw that the storm was just moving it was just and everybody was looking at it and wondering what is this like a kind of gross darkness that want to come over over the whole earth so the thing was just moving little by little and i was like what is this but i know it's greater troubles that are coming and all the rest and that's why I will tell you the truth. In these last days, more false prophets will come. There will be plenty. 
I will not pray against them. I will not pray that God, you know, let them not come. They must come. There will be plenty. I'm seeing them every day at night. And I'm just asking, I'm just, I'm just wondering. The only question I ask myself is, God, why? Why is it like this? But I, I keep remembering the word of God. And I say, ah, well, it must be so. How sorry is he for the earth? And how sorry is he for those that will be deceived? Because the Bible says, even the elect, even the very elect, even the very elect, even the very elect will be deceived. And that is why we want to pray. We'll pray for Christians all over the world. Then we'll pray for nations. We'll pray for nations, mostly even Nigeria. I see somebody putting something like that. Nigeria needs serious prayers, you know, not just only Nigeria, every other nation. Because all these things that are happening, all these crises and division and this and all the rest. So, <laughs> the problem is that the church is not helping matters. The problem is that, you know, the wickedness is so much that even those that you think that should be ministers of God, you know, are the ones that have turned to become magicians. So, how do you solve the problem, you know? It's just to pray to God, you know, to just have mercy and to show his children mercy. And even though as the problems and as the as the situations and everything turn around like this, we pray that the Lord covers us, you know. He covers us with his fire, you know, that these things, you know, will not get close to us. And even if they get close to us, he will give us grace to overcome them. So let's begin mm. to pray for Christians all over the world that wherever they are, those that are true disciples of Jesus, as we are speaking right now, like I saw a video of people, ah, when I saw that video, I asked myself, sometimes I'm asking myself, Lord, why am I not in the group of such kind of people? I don't know. I don't know. That's sometimes what I think because I, I get jealous of these people, you know, of, of good things like this, you know, I, I over things that are very good. I, I see, you know, some certain Christians, you know, in the Asian world, you know, worshipping God in, in hard condition. Worshipping God, you know, and praising the name of the Lord in hard condition. It reminded me, you know, of, of the days of, like, like the times of the apostles. Worshipping the Lord like that, you know, passing through a lot of problems and worshipping the Lord. And I said, you know, is different from the Christianity or or of the European or the African world, you know, where you know you people cannot pray for too long, or people cannot stay for too long, or people cannot serve the Lord for too long, or you know, when you call for a lot of prayer meetings and all the rest, and people are skeptical, you know, but there are people serving the Lord, and as they are serving the Lord, they are serving the Lord. You know that these ones are serving the Lord with all their heart, not because of what they want to get from it, but they serve the Lord because they know that this is the way of the cross. This is the way that Jesus followed. This is the way that the apostles. Tell me, the heaven that these people are going to, the only question I ask myself, is it the same heaven that me I also go to? Or the heaven that the apostles went to, is it the same heaven that I also or rapture the entire movement want to go to? I don't know. Or maybe there is a different heaven. Maybe there is a heaven for people that follow the way of the cross. And there is a heaven for people that enjoy and have prosperity and all the rest. Or there is a heaven for people that always buy private jets. And there is a heaven for people, you know, that decide, you know, to walk the way of Jesus. So that's what I don't understand, you know. It really shows me that we are far behind. We are far away. The church will never... And the church can never ever see revival, except it goes back to the word of God. Except it goes back to the same way the apostles were doing it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because right now, we have prayed for ourselves and we have interceded for ourselves. Right now, we are going into the body of Christ. Then, um, then uh, we'll go into nations. Then before then, we'll, now, we'll just close up uh, by the grace of God. The... The earth can never see revival. Forget about all these things we say revival, revival, revival. Revival starts from you, you yourself, following that way. Deciding, if a man can decide to follow the way of the cross and say, I want to be like Apostle Paul. I want to be like Jesus. I want to, if a man can decide to say, I want to be like the first people of old. Ah, know that God is starting to bring some revival little by little. 
But all this is, you see, it's not, it's not revival. That's not revival, you know. Revival is to follow the way of the cross. And so these are the people that get to heaven. Not people that, you know, any little thing like this, it will even shake their Christian life. If it's a small problem like this, that God will just put maybe even to test the person. Before you know it, the person has backslidden. And the person has gone back to the world. And the person has decided to start drinking and smoking with the world and dining with the world and all the rest. These are not people that get to heaven. Heaven will surprise people on the last day. Let me tell you this simple secret. Not everybody will get to heaven. And one thing I'm sure is that heaven will surprise people on the last day. People will go. And when people die, they'll be expressing, oh, thank God, you know, wow, I think I was doing holiness and all the rest. And when they stand there, you know, just like it happened to me, they opened the book. They opened the book and I was thinking, hey, wow, my name is going to be in the book of life. You know, I'm going to get to heaven, you know, and... They opened the book, you know. I was jumping. I was thinking that, you know. I was expecting the angels to tell me, ah, Chino's in good work. Well done. Well done, you know. You've been doing good, you know. Uh, not like that. My name was not in the book of life. Mm-hmm. I was just giving grace. Mm-hmm. Some persons might not be given that kind of grace to understand that. But the understanding I get here is this is the state of so many people that have died. They always think that... I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because they are not watching and checkmating their Christian life. You think temptations come to everybody. I see temptations almost every day. Temptations come and it it will not stop coming. It will come as long as you're a child of God. What makes you a strong Christian is the ability for you to say no to sin. And say, get away from my sight. I love Jesus more than I love you. That's the power of a true Christian. That's how it will, many Christians will go there on the last day. And when they stay, they'll be so surprised. Be, wow, thank God, you know. Oh, I think I did all I'm supposed to do, you know. Oh, you know, I was always fellowshipping. Uh, I always do everything. Uh, I pay my. I was, I was even a, a, a pastor, you know. A, one, of, one of the best pastors on the earth, you know. And I do everything. Uh, but the angel would just be searching. Like the angel was searching, you know. The angel was just looking at me. <laughs> They're just searching, you know. But your name is not here. <laughs> and, you know, I, I felt it to be so much true, you know. It just looked like, you know. Um, those days when I was on campus and, you know, I, I went to the lecturer's office and they told me, oh, Chino, you have a missing script here? Yeah? Or you failed this particular exam, you know? I felt like, what happened? I was so sure of myself, you know, that I'm going to pass this thing. What happened? And all the rest. That's how it's going to be for so many people. Have, what happened, you know, in order for you to not become like this? Follow Jesus. Anything you see Jesus doing, follow his pattern. Anything you see the Apostle Paul following and going through, follow that pattern. Pattern your life according to the way the first church lived it. I tell you, if it's like that, heaven will not disappoint you. And I know heaven will not disappoint as many of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us begin to pray for the body of Christ right now. Begin to pray that, that the Lord helps the body of Christ to understand its true calling. And the saints get perfected. That every wickedness, every discord, every disunity. Listen to me. If there is all this division, 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 division that we are seeing in the body of Christ, the church can never ever grow to become what it's like. I'm not saying that God cannot call people. God can call people and all the rest. But if truly I saw that every ministry has almost the same pattern, or the same vision that we are having. I will have no problem, you know. I will have no even problem going there and doing some certain things and all the rest. But I see that there is a lot of things that people don't follow the word just as it's written. It's either people are pampering the word or trying to take this place and leave this place. But I decide that, wow, I'll follow everything I see in this Bible. If all these things are like that, never. The kingdom will never stand. So, this is what you understand. Now, sometimes I ask myself, mm. ask myself, one question I ask myself, I tell people, ah, but if what we practice here is what you want to practice, then what is the use of a division? It really shows that deep in there, there is an interior motive. Now, listen to me. That's why revival will always tarry. Revival will not take place. There must be unity in the world. 
And there must be unity in the faith. And there must be unity in prayer. This way, the body of Christ can stand. If not, forget it. There will be no revival. If there is no one man, have you ever seen Satan dividing his kingdom and saying, Busy boy, go here. Josie boy, leave me alone. Um, Satan say, I'll take this kingdom. Queen of course say, Don't worry. I'll be helping Christians to get to heaven. Have you ever seen something like that before? Or oh, let's mute our mic, you know. I, I don't want us to, um, so that we don't. Let's mute our mic. I'm hearing some noise. And my voice is echoing. So try not to be watching in two places. Host, please mute everyone. Host, please mute. So uh, have you seen have you seen Satan doing that? Have you seen where a marine agent says, "Don't worry, Satan, don't worry. I'll be helping them to get to heaven." You know, and me and you, you know, don't worry. Stay on your own, Satan. I'll tell my. It's a lie. They are all connected. They know what they are doing. Marine agent, oh, Queen of Coast, oh, um, Queen of Heaven. All of them, they are working together. Um, busy ball, oh, just about the, the one that causes accident for road, oh, the ones that causes people to have sickness, so oh, all of them they have one goal to kill, to steal, to destroy. It's not like that in Christianity. Oh. Everybody are having different goals. How can we now get to the full stature? How can we become more like him? But eventually, there are times whereby God can call out a man, but many times when God is calling out a man, He's giving him, He's giving him a timely message. That's what I understand. How to understand the true calling of God is he gives you a tiny message. He doesn't give you something different. When you see that somebody is doing something and you see, you know, in the world, I'm generalizing this, you know, all over the world because I've seen a lot of things, you know, and I, I said this thing because a brother, some, somebody spoke to me and the person, I told the person, you know, I, I don't even tell people that I'm a preacher, you know, I just tell the person, I'm a brother, I'm a Christian, you know, I love Jesus, you know, and the person began to tell me, you know, why is it that we see so many things happening in Christianity and all the rest? And I didn't even know what to say and all the rest. I realized something. If you want to understand what is a heavenly vision, it has a timely message. You see that God is sending the person to, to achieve something strategic in the body of Christ. That's how God calls his children. Is it that God is calling the person to strategically do something that is wrong? Or he's calling the person out of a, a denomination that is evil so that the person can show light to other people? These are reasons why I understand. These are how I know what is really of God. If it is anything apart from this, and there is no, there's no timely message. There, there's, there's no message that you are having. There's no, there's no something that, there's nothing that is missing that you are trying to input right and all the rest. Forget it. I can, I can say from the word of God, I don't see this thing to be scriptural and all the rest. What am I saying? That is why we need to pray for unity. The devil knows what he's doing. The devil knows what he's doing. What's my business? What's my business if this person says this thing, or if this person says that thing, or what's my own business? My business is to watch over my Christian life. Why would I come on the social media and begin to talk about somebody and all the rest? That's rubbish, you know. That's because people don't know Jesus. That's a sign of Pharisee. That's a sign of people. What's your own business is to dish out the word. That's how it's supposed to be. Right now, we begin to pray right now that let unity let love reign in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to have your way. Let your unity, let your peace, let joy, let peace, let it reign in the body of Christ. Let it reign in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let us get to the level, to the statue you want us to get to. Lord God Almighty, every wicked power. Lord, this is the work of the devil. This is the work of the enemy. It is the devil that caused all these things. Lord, let there be one name. My Father, my God. Let us have a soul purpose to chase the devil. Let us have a soul purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty. Lord, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, let there be one name. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray for the body of Christ. Let your unity, my Father, reign in the body of Christ. for the body of Christ. Begin to pray for the body of Christ. Begin to pray for the body of Christ. Pray for the body of Christ that we get there, that we get to that passion, that we become more like Him, that the peace and the unity of God will In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Lord. Lord. Let your love reign in our hearts. Let your love reign in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, the love of God. You need to reign in our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your love reign in our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, be broken. God, my God, let your love back. By let it be more in Jesus' name. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. Another thing we pray for is Christians all over the world, Christians all over the world. People are going through a lot. Well, it's just because the devil has decided to put a battle line, you know between those that are of the seed of the Lord and um, and him also. So I want to pray for Christians all over the world that people right now that are having some great tough time, tough time in, in their Christian life and all the rest, going through a lot of things, going through a lot of evil all over the world, and the devil is manipulating and doing a lot of rubbish in their Christian life. Let me tell you very much, let me tell you, the, the devil is very alert. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's much more happy if he can distress your Christian life than blessing you with a lot of money and all the things. I realize that even in these last days, what the devil even does more is to bless people with a lot of material blessing. And it takes away their spiritual blessing away from them. So it's very much easy. And some people can be very much comfortable and they are very dark and they don't understand that <laughs> this is a way the devil is working, you know. On them and all the rest. So we want to pray for Christians all over the world that the Lord should multiply grace over his children. Some going through hard times in their Christian life. Some having a defeated life. Defeated life, possibly <clears throat> is he defeated in their inner life. Defeated in sin. Defeated in so many things and all the rest. We want to pray that the Lord begins to multiply grace upon their lives so that they can stand on the true word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, we want to we pray right now wherever they are, Lord. Every disciple of Jesus, oh Lord, every of your son, every of your daughter, Lord, bring through some hard time all over the world. Oh Lord, begin to comfort them, begin to give them grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, wherever they are, oh Lord, Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, my God. Father, I give us the grace, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord, my Father. Give us the grace, O Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, 
multiply your grace upon our life. God, multiply your grace upon our life. Multiply your grace upon the future all over the world. Multiply your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to also pray also for your country, wherever you are in your country. If there is no peace or if there is a lot of violence around there, it will affect you. Yeah. And uh, listen to me. If we have 2 billion people or 2 million people, I don't know how the, the rate of how, how big a country is. Let's say in Nigeria, let's say we have over 140 million people or something like that. I don't know the accurate rate. Um, and let's say we have over 140 million people in a particular city. <laughs> It's very much funny that out of these 140 million people, if truly you are a disciple of Jesus, out of these 140 million people, your light is shining. What I mean is that there is a whole lot of darkness. But if truly you are a child of God in that particular city, just know that you are unique. What I mean you are unique, when God looks at the whole of that country, if truly you are a disciple, he looks at you and he says, ah, this is the brother or this is the sister that I can count on to save these people from this darkness. And you and I know that there are many people that if heaven should begin to count those that are truly serving the Lord, the, the percentage might be very minimal, very, very minimal. Or it might even be in, in the zero percent because wickedness has increased so much. Wickedness keeps increasing. Even in the 2017, it has increased it has skyrocketed itself, you know. It has increased so much. And sometimes when I'm looking at the media, and then I'm just asking myself, God, what happened? As in, and I, I, I cannot just stop crying and weeping. I'm like asking myself, how do we, is it that? I'm asking myself, maybe is it that either, you know, it looks as if I'm in a different world or it looks as if the world, you know, you, you cannot fit into the world anymore. You cannot fit into the system anymore. It's looking yeah. very different. It shows that you are a different person entirely. Yeah. This world is not your home. Amen. That's what it shows. And that's what it shows me because when I see, if you check on the media, the rubbish you receive is too much. And I'm, I'm sometimes, I even ask, I even used to ask God, did you do anything wrong to all these people? As in, why is it that they don't like you? That's what I ask the Lord, you know. And that's what I tell the Lord. Why is it that these people don't like you? That's, that's the way I talk to the Lord. Or have you done any wrong thing to them? Or why is that they don't appreciate you? Or they choose to live this life? Or I don't know, you know? So it really shows me that in a particular city, just like it was in the days of Noah, as God was able to find just one man and say, Noah, you are a righteous man and a preacher of righteousness. It is the same way also in a particular country. God can only just find two people and three persons and five persons and say, these five persons, these are my disciples. These are the ones I... And which means God is expecting those people to intercede for the whole of all those people around there. Okay. To intercede for the rest of the two million or the ten million people. You see how precious you are before the sight of heaven. You see the power that you have before the sight of heaven. That God is thinking that with you, all these other people can be saved. That's how we want to pray also for nations also. We want to pray for countries also and for Nigeria also. We want to pray that these countries, that every wicked power that is fighting Christianity, of recent they have removed CRUK, a religious study in Nigeria, you know. This is something that I benefited from, you know. Uh, I benefited a lot from it because I knew that the Catholic Church didn't teach me much and all the rest. So I benefited a lot from it. They have removed it. You can imagine. Imagine the wickedness that is going on around schools. Little, little children are already learning evil. They are practicing evil already. Imagine the wicked things. It's very funny, you know, that at the age of, you know, even nine, ten, you see young people, they start talking about some useless thing. And you're asking yourself things that you don't even know about, you know. And all these young people, they can even begin to teach you wickedness and all the rest. It shows that year by year, wickedness is increasing and the state of the earth is dwindling down. For this reason, more pestilence will keep coming upon the earth. 
For this reason, more different viruses will still keep coming upon the earth. The reason why these things will keep coming is that as the darkness is increasing, the cup of the rot is increasing. You know, it's just like the Lord is just watching the earth. He, it's just, the earth is getting to a stage whereby very soon it will be folded up and it will be squashed and Jesus will come and it will just be squashed and thrown into a dustbin, you know, because of the wickedness is so much. And the father cannot imagine. Imagine you if you were a father and you see the children you created with your own hands rebelling against you, doing evil against you. How would you feel? You as a father, a father, you nurture your children and all the rest. You created them in your own image and now they come to begin to do evil against you. How are you going to feel? I feel sometimes that when God looks at the earth, I feel sometimes that God is crying, you know, or Jesus is always weeping and he's like, but why? Are these the children that I created? But why? We want to pray for nations right now that the Lord raised more armies. The Lord raised more laborers. The Bible says that pray that the Lord of the harvest will send more laborers because the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are too few. You think Jesus was lying? He was not lying. The laborers are very, very few. Forget about all these preaching you see everywhere. As for me, I don't believe that all these preachings are genuine. I only believe that only few people have the calling of God inside of their life. That's personally for me. That's my conviction. I don't believe because I'm asking myself, why is that the world is not changing? Why is Jesus still weeping? Why are souls not still getting to heaven? It really shows that there is a problem somewhere. It's either that the devil has hijacked a lot of things that the Lord has given to his children and he has turned it for his own glory. And the devil, the Lord is not getting glory. That's why the church needs prayer. We need to pray for pastors. We need to pray for those that God has anointed. We need to pray for spiritual leaders. We need to pray for those in authority. The Apostle Paul said that also. We need to pray for those in authority. We need to pray for our presidents, whether they are Muslims or whether they are this and all that. That's not what I'm after, you know. We need to pray for them. That's even though that they are on that position, that the Lord gives them grace to rule like the way he wants them to rule. It has nothing to do with their going to heaven. This is an understanding people don't have. That somebody is a leader or somebody has authority somewhere. Why you need to pray for the person is so that the person makes some right decision. It totally has nothing to do with the person going to heaven. The person going to heaven is by his relationship with Jesus. But his authority as rulership of a particular place has to do with God's children over there. So he needs wisdom to be able to put some certain things right and all the rest. So right now, let's begin to pray for our nations. Let's begin to pray for our country. Let's begin to pray for Nigeria. Let's begin to pray for Europe that every wickedness that the devil has launched in there, let there be more laborers. More laborers spiritually, physically, whatsoever. Let the Lord begin to raise more people that would ensure and cause a great and spark a great revival in this country. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, you begin to lay raise more laborers, Lord. Oh Lord, raise more preachers, Lord, like Brother Noah. Oh Lord, like the Apostle Paul. Lord God Almighty, to stand on your word. Oh Lord God Almighty, to deliver these nations from a lot of spiritual harbor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, let your feet strength. Lord, uh, oh Lord, in these nations, uh, in Nigeria, Lord, uh, every agenda of the devil upon Nigeria, every agenda of the devil upon every African nation, every European nation, every Asian nation, oh Lord God Almighty, every country that I've been enlisted here, oh Lord, uh, let your peace begin. From your storehouse, from heaven, Lord, uh, let them come down uh, and let them bring forth your message uh, in the name of Jesus. Let there be revival. Let there be revival. Let there be revival. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you, dependable Father. Dependable Father. Dependable Father. You will never fail. We thank you, dependable Father. He is your dependable father, dependable papa. You will never fail. I thank you, dependable father. He is your dependable father, dependable daddy. You will never change. Okay, place your place your hand on your forehead or um or any part of your body, and um, um why I just make the final declaration. Um, as, as we do that, um, let's remember that on Sunday, um, before the final declaration, we're going to have. Um, our communion service, which is going to be by 7 p.m. So if you've not gotten your bread and wine, you you get that. Uh, you uh, the, the wine is, you know, you, non-alcoholic wine, non-alcoholic wine. You can look for something like missionary wine. And the bread is uh, without yeast, any bread without yeast, you know, just those round ones, just almost like you, you can see it in any store. Almost like the Roman Catholic Church, that same one that they hold up with or so. So it's without yeast. So you get that and partake of the communion service. And I believe that God is going to bless our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God has been so good to us as a ministry. God has been so good to us as individuals also. Not just that God has protected us and kept us. And um, I believe that also uh, with this declaration also, Every power also that has stood so long in your life, the Lord will begin to have its way and deliver us. Some of you, as you're going to bed, the Lord will begin to open your eyes in the spirit. It's one thing I've always experienced uh, <clears throat> most times and every time. I believe that God is going to do that. And God is going to, God has already placed some certain things in your life with the strategic prayers that we've made. And then um, some of those things that God has called out. Anytime there is a word of knowledge in any place, I believe that is because somebody is there that the Lord is speaking to. And I, I believe that it is already established by the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Also, mm -hmm. let's remember also um, our normal days of activities and all the rest. Let's also um, invite our friends. Very soon we'll take some, you know, strategic things on the on, on the uh, on the Skype group, I know people have done a lot of follow up and all the rest. So if you if you see us doing some certain things on the Skype group, know that we are just trying to do uh, more of restructuring to know everyone in there and all the rest. And uh, let's do well also to join each of the departments and um, for the sisters fellowship um, because of the um, um, communion service because the calendar looks very funny. So sometimes I, I don't even know when it's last uh, Sunday. So, but when I checked up, I realized that's the last Sunday. So we're not going to have the sisters fellowship. And, um, but I believe that the other week coming, we are going to have that by the grace of God. And let's keep each other in prayer. Let's keep rapture ready and time movement in prayer also. And I believe it's God's will also for rapture ready and time movement to spread forth and so that we can keep getting more souls with the undiluted world to get to heaven by the grace of God. And also let's do well also to be a part of the camp project. Also, let's try our best to support it also, um, the camp project. We've not still gotten um, what we expected by the grace of God. But remember, it's not, it's not for my own good. It's for your own good. And it's for the good also of as many people also and as many um, you know, people that would come in there by the grace of God. And then let's also remember what we said also. When it comes to, you know, um, tithe and offering, you just do that, you know, once in a while. It doesn't mean that it might be end of the month. It could be even beginning of the month, but you just do that and know that, you know, you don't have to do that any day of the month or um, any day of the week anymore. 
and I believe that God is going to also have his way in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another thing again is I must advise, apart from the general prayers that we do in here, some persons are not praying. Some people are always busy with so much of activity. Find time to pray. Find time in your personal closet to pray. I know you might not have all the hours to pray like that, but even if it's 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, and talk to the Lord, know the Lord personally. That's what makes you a Christian. That's what makes you a true disciple of Jesus Christ. And that's what helps us to get to heaven at the end of time. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, wherever your children are, I speak upon their life, Lord. Lord God Almighty, remember your promises and remember your word. You said, Lord, if I can stand on the true word, Lord, then and this sign shall follow them that believe. Lord God Almighty, everything and every mark that has been written upon their forehead, their bodies, I command it to get away right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree yeah. and I speak upon their life. Every pain in their body, yeah. every pain around their body right now, I command it to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Lord, I speak upon the life of your children wherever they are, Lord. Everything, Lord, by the virtue of today's prayer, Lord, their blessings are sealed. It remains permanent in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord God Almighty, every evil force, every evil hand standing against their life, Lord, Lord God Almighty, expose them all. As they go to bed and sleep right now, you open their eyes. They see deep in the realm of the spirit, Lord. Oh, Lord God Almighty, just like the, Dan, the brother Daniel said, he said, only the Lord revealed this secret. Lord, those things, Lord, that they've been crying, Lord, show me the way, show me the way. Today, you show them the way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh, Lord, for those that are backsliding and going back to the things they once left behind, Lord, Bring them and draw them close to you. I speak upon their life. I prophesy upon their life today. Oh, Lord God Almighty, let the garment of holiness continually be upon their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, is there any stain on my garment? Is there any stain on their garment? Is there any stain on our garment? As we go to bed, you do a spiritual cleansing. Lord, remember how you use those angels, you know, to wash my body, to wash the body, to wash my body with your blood. Begin to wash Wash their body with your blood, with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, all those dark things that have been implanted, all those eating in the dream, all those wicked things that the devil has implanted, all those injections spiritually, all those things that are standing there as a stone, as a hindrance, as a stumbling block, and it has been there. Tonight, you are taking it away, Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. Let them feel more of your presence. Let them know the Holy Spirit deeply, Lord. Oh, Lord, help your children to know you more, Lord. Oh, Lord, for them here and their husbands are troubling them. Their husbands have become a thorn in their flesh, Lord. Give them grace, oh, Lord God Almighty. Give them grace to overcome, Lord. Not just that also. Let there be a change of heart in the life of all those people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. We thank you for these things are permanent. The angels that are to be sent, Lord, to bring down these blessings, Lord. Lord, even as we finish and as they bring these blessings to us, Lord, give us the grace to receive it from Amen. you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My joy is flowing. My joy is flowing like a river. My joy is flowing. My joy is flowing like a river. The reason for my joy, the reason for my joy is Jesus. Your joy is flowing. Now we can mute our mic and you can sing and so that I'll hear your voice. <laughs> my joy is flowing like a river. My joy is flowing. My joy is flowing like a river. My joy is flowing. My joy is flowing like a river. The reason for my joy, the reason for my joy is Jesus. My joy is flowing. My joy is flowing like a river. 
Uh, okay, let me see. I don't know. Is there any um, body um, fellowshipping with us or uh, joining um, the videos for the first time? If you're there, you know, you can just um, um, say hi or let me know your name or, or so. And let's, let's welcome you if possible. If you're there, you can mute your mic and speak. Um, if you're there joining mm -hmm. us uh, for the first time. Okay. Um, if there is none, uh, this rapture at the end time movement, um, the end time video, a place where God has placed his power, his word, and his spirit. So um, let's keep on joining and all the rest. And um, let's keep on also um, inviting our friends and to drink this fire that the Lord has set upon the earth. And I believe God bless us in Jesus' name. So I'll leave them, um, Sister um sister charity she will take up you take up the grace you can take up the grace and as we close up Hallelujah. amen sister charity yeah take up okay. the grace. okay Sister Pascal, you can take up the grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us begin to commit the man of God into the hands of God right now, that the Lord God Almighty will replenish him, that anything that has been released from his life will come back in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him be filled again with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let him be replenished in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for the man of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we commit to God your servant and I let you say into your hands, my Father, my God, we pray, Lord, that you will reveal him. You will reveal him. Every virtue, every virtue, Every anointing that has gone out of him, my father, my God, he will replace it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my God, Lord, at the end of the day, it shall be one among us in the name of Jesus. My father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, my God, 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 Thank you, Lord, you have to give us some victory over the Thomas Lord. So open doors, oh Lord, that ask for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, you have to give us some victory over the Thomas Lord. In your power, in your knowledge, in your wisdom, in your understanding, in your anointing, oh God of mercy. Lord, use it mighty, let him grow, 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 let any power of darkness want to attack him because of this prayer tonight, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For me to right now in the hand of God for protection, for divine protection. The power of God to power of darkness that will want to attack because of this prayer tonight. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. I want to come against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power, any principality, is it of the witchcraft power? Is it witchcraft power? Is it marine power? Whatever, whatever, who want to rise up against him now? Is it from the sea? A whatever power, who want to rise up against him now? Because of this prayer, the power of God, let the Holy Ghost fire upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, my God, we come. Your son is your hand, 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 your
Let us pray that all our blessings tonight, all our prayers tonight, all the answers to our prayers tonight, they shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That, that no place of passion, no place of power will be removed from our blessing from us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, all the blessings that we get tonight, Lord, shall be permanent. I pray that we are receiving it to the end. So Lord, I ask, I ask for Lord for the growth to maintain. No my blessings. Empty of my prayers, oh Lord, I thank you for the blessings. I have for you, oh Lord, you know too. You know that I have done it. You have done it. You know that I have done it. You know that I have done it. You know that I have done it. Amen. Thank you, so much, David. The Lord has answered by fire. The God of Elijah. I thank you, Lord, for the love and mercy, and I cover my prayer points with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus and the people of them. Thank you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's all cover our spiritual and body in the blood of Jesus. As some of us are waking up now, as some of us are going to bed now, that we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because of this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us commit ourselves now into the hands of God. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Father, I cover my spirit, soul, and body in the blood of Jesus. Father, I cover my brethren in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I cover this prayer tonight. I want to rise for Jesus because of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, bring them down. Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us thank you, Father, for your presence in my home. And I feel the blood of Jesus pass over our spirits and body, over our beds, over our drinks, over our blood of Abel, the blood of Jesus that causes confusion in the camp of the enemy, the blood of Jesus that overcame every power. In the mighty name of Jesus, that blood of Jesus, we plead our prayers. We plead the blood of Jesus over our siblings. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you never leave me for sick us, and you never forsake us, because we are in the God. In the mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace, the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the peace of God, the Holy Spirit, our God and Father, and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. God be with us in the mercy of our Lord all the good days of our life. And we shall pray the hearts of the Lord forever and evermore. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom, everyone.